Bhakti and Head of Joshi Advocates, thank you very much for joining us in our spouse video uh, because the requirements change 11th of April 2024, the financial requirement. But before we begin, just want to add a few uh, touches on that. Uh, so the 18.6 thousand financial requirement applies if one, you had a five year spouse visa route uh, before 11th of April 2024, or you made an application on the five year spouse visa route before 11th of April 2024, you are granted, then you are still protected going forward, applying for your extension on the five year route uh, as 18.6 requirement is uh, kept for you. Now, let's say you made an application uh, before 11th of April 2024, you did not get a decision. Um, before 11th of April 2024, um, but the decision comes after. Doesn't matter, uh, you are still within um, the old requirement of 18.6, provided that that application you made before 11th of April 2024 on the five year route has been granted on the five year route, right? Now, um, let's say uh, if you are a, on the, if you're a partner on the 10 year route and then after 11th of April 2024, you switch on the five year route, you would need to meet the 29,000 financial threshold. Because yes, you are on the 10 year partner route uh, and you are switching to the five year partner route after 11th of April 2024, you would need to meet the 29,000 financial requirement, right? Now, uh, let's get into the five. Uh, entry clearance uh, spouse visa requirements that you need to meet if you're applying uh, from outside the UK to come in. Uh, so one is um, relationship requirements. So we are married, we have the marriage certificate um, and the previous marriages have been dissolved. So divorce certificates and then we marry. So mar divorce certificate if we're divorced and then we marry the new one. The applicant, so marriage certificate, divorce certificate, uh, if it's relevant, uh, communication record to show that relationship is genuine and subsisting. The sponsor has traveled, travel stamps, uh, we met face to face, uh, photographs, money transfer receipts from sponsor to applicant, if that applies, right? So that's to show the relationship is legally valid because we married and it's genuine and subsisting. Uh, so that's the first requirement. Then it's a financial requirement. So we're applying after 11th of April 2024 to enter the UK. The financial requirement for one applicant, the spouse, is 29,000. If you are sponsoring spouse plus children, dependents under 18, uh, who are not British, then the financial requirement is slightly higher. Uh, check the online calculator to get the exact figure. Now, uh, financial requirement is, uh, say for this video, uh, from the sponsor's income, which is either from employment or self-employment, right? So we'll just look at those basic examples for this video. From employment, the sponsor must be earning 18, uh, sorry, 29,000 uh, per year before tax. And in a job they kept for six months and they must provide their uh, payslip six months, bank statement six months, letter from employer. Now let's say the sponsor is self-employed, uh, then the sponsor would give their tax return for the last tax year that finished, uh, and then letter from accountant, uh, personal bank account statements for that tax year, uh, plus up to the date of the application. That's a financial requirement. Then it's the uh, maintenance requirement. So the sponsor would provide a tenancy agreement if they're renting uh, or title deal if they own the property and make sure the property is not overcrowded. Uh, and then finally, the English language test requirement at level A1 from a home office provider. And if uh, it applies a tuberculosis test certificate from the home office provider. Now, I hope that's helpful. As always, contact me details below, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Take care.